Hey, hello everyone, Nippy here again. Once more here with Daniel. We're gonna <coughs> sorry, we're gonna continue with uh, with the deep de la Hiva uh, situation that we've been working. Nice to see you people <coughs> moving the head. It's good that you guys see that we do stuff in one take. Up and down. <coughs> Circling the head, everyone. Both sides. Circling the arm. The other arm. And the hips. All right, it's on. Dropping to the floor and reaching. Ten times each side. Hips gape, everyone. Ten times each side. Sit up, one knee up, the other one down, first your upper body, then my hip is gonna fall. Okay, keeping the hip as low as possible. Really connected to your heel, five times inside people. Moving my feet from one side to the other side. From here people, not using the hands, just shoulders and upper body. As I bring my shoulder back, I'm gonna extend the legs, point the feet to the other side, having the same position that I had before. Going back same way, shoulder back, my feet to the other side, from one side, the other side, five times each side people, rolling back and forth over the shoulder, pay attention to roll over the shoulder, up over your head people, controlling the hip, five times each side, side to the side of one, again over the shoulder, but this time left and to the right controlling the hip as well people over the shoulder okay and last but not least technical stand up going up hand goes back push the leg through and then back into the guard switch the side always supported on both sides okay people hip up foot behind my hand I bring myself up in base first the hand then the leg and we're gonna be in the first position. Five times each side as well, up and down. And we're gonna start with the partner drills. Let's go people. Okay, people, just continue with the exercise that we started before. I'm starting from the Villa Hiva. I'm riding control in her sleeve. As I push Dania's leg away with my foot, I sit up and I feed her sleeve to the other hand that's behind her leg. She manages to break the grip. As this happened, I switch to the single leg. As I switch to the single leg, she pushes me back with the knee on the chest. Then we gotta go back to the De La Riva and start over. I break her grip, keeping the control of the sleeve. Pay attention people, elbow close to the hip. I'm gonna push the knee away, sit up, switch the hand that's controlling the sleeve. She breaks the grip, I switch for the single leg, she pushes me back, and we're gonna be in the first position again, okay? We're going to be doing this two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and then you guys switch, whoever's on the bottom get on top. If you require more details, people, check the first classes we talked about the Lahiva, then I explained the sequence. Actually, I explained the positions, and then uh, the sequence so you guys can understand how this goes. Okay, starting slow, then speeding up so you can get this in a flow. All right, let's work for the next one, people. Okay, people, uh, we started with this drill last, uh, in the class that we did last Tuesday. I'm going to be here in the situation where I have the Toriana position, allowing Dania to get a control of my sleeve. If she's controlling the left sleeve, she's going to get the grip on the right ankle. She's going to set the De La Riva. Now that she has the De La Riva, she wants to go deep. So she's going to go over the shoulder, elevating the hip, pushing her leg all the way through. And when she goes back here with the back flat on the floor, 
she still has a control but with my balance broke. For the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna break the control of the sleeve, I'm gonna push her foot away, stepping back, and then back into the first position. Then you're doing the same to the other side, controlling the sleeve, the ankle, she elevates the hip, she's gonna set the little heel first, then she's gonna go all the way until she can reach the other leg. She's already hooking my thigh as she returns to the, uh, with the back flat on the floor, breaking my balance. I break the grip, push her foot away, go back, and we're just gonna be working with each other like this. She has a sleeve, the ankle, first a regular little heave, then she goes all the way through, exactly, coming back, I break the sleeve, push her foot, return, and we're just gonna be playing with each other like this, okay? Like I said, we saw this with more details on the class we did on the last Tuesday, so just revisit that if you need. Two minutes while I'll be on the bottom, then you guys switch from the bottom again on top, and we're gonna start with, the, with today's position. Let's see people. Oh, okay, everyone. So, uh, what I'm going to do is actually it's a situation just like the one we saw with the back take, it's a position that works with or without the gi, okay? So, with the gi, I always like to have the control of my opponent's sleeve, okay? It gives me a little bit more safety. Just like before I fall, I'm gonna be pushing my leg through. And just like we did on the last class, I'm gonna hook the other class as well. Uh, the other class, the other leg. And I'm gonna have this position here with my both feet almost connecting. You guys can see that I have both of her legs trapped here with my legs. And this gives me a lot of control. What might happen here, people, is that Dana can break the grip. And sometimes it's gonna be complicated for me to get this control. And especially when her when she breaks the grip, she's gonna posture herself up. You guys can see how this happens a lot of the times because she's gonna require a little bit of explosiveness and she's gonna go up like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep this foot that I have in front of her leg here, hooking, and the other one that is behind her leg, I'm gonna move to her ankle. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna push her foot her hip with my foot to one side, and I'm gonna hook her ankle, bringing her down as soon as she falls, people. You guys can see that my feet are still here, and I'm gonna, here, hug her hip, okay? I wanna make sure that I have this grip going on, okay? Because I wanna make sure that she cannot elevate her knee, okay? If she does that, she resets the guard, which I don't want, so I wanna go all the way through, cup her hip, and bring my chest over her leg. From here, if Dana tries to reset the guard now, she's gonna have a lot of trouble because I'm smashing her knee. And here, people, just like we did before, I grab the shoulder, I push her knee down, and I move to the side control. Okay, so super simple position. If we're doing no E, of course, that this situation with <coughs> this leave is not gonna be happening. But I can still set my position, just like I, we were doing before. I'm gonna push the leg through and get the control. My opponent is all the way up like this, all right? What I can do is slide the foot that I have behind the knee all the way to the ankle. And here, I'm gonna push on one side and pull on the other side. I wanna push with the foot that is in front of her leg and I wanna pull with the foot that is behind her ankle. She falls, I'm already here, grabbing her hip, okay, people? I'm gonna go over her thigh, and I'm gonna grab her hip, okay? I can also grab the belt. If we're doing no deep, I have to cup the hip, because I wanna make sure that my opponent's hip are pointing to the opposite side of, what I, of, of the side that I am, okay? Have this control, I'm gonna bring myself up, control the head, control the knee, just moving to the side control. So what I want to do when I have the position here, people, I'm gonna start like this, controlling her, her legs. The leg that is behind the, the leg, I'm gonna slide down, and I'm going to hook in this motion and kick on the other one so then I can fall. All right, one more time here. If you guys, for example, on the no gi, this happens a lot, my opponent is gonna be pushing my leg away. And here, you can just step on the floor, push the leg through, and now you're ready in the position that we've been working before. 
we go for the sweep. As she falls, I'm already bringing myself up, controlling the shoulder, then hit, and moving to the side control. Okay? Of course, I did this a little bit faster, but start step by step. You guys can try with the grip, without the grip. And then, <coughs> as you guys get comfortable with this, you can speed up a little bit more so you can get the flow of the position. Okay? So, no time limit, everyone. Just try with each other so you guys can understand. You can stretch as much as you want, and then we can start training. Let's go, people. Okay, people. So, Daniel already has her delay here in place. She's gonna be trying to sweep me, to submit me, to take my back, whatever she can hear from the Delahiva. On the other hand, I'm gonna be trying to avoid this, not giving my 100% because I want to, Dania, uh, to learn the position and understand this. I just wanna be giving her some resistance so she has something to work with, okay? And three minutes on the on top, the other one on the bottom. If you guys succeed on your goals, in this case, either Dania with her sweep or uh, attacks, or me with the passing, we just go back to the beginning and keep working. All right, so we're gonna be here, playing with each other, gonna be trying to get the control, then it's gonna be pushing me away. Okay, I'm gonna try to break the control, but before her, we start over, just switch to the other side, and we keep playing, okay? Three minutes, one of you on top, the other one on the bottom, and then you guys add as many rolls as you want, feel free okay and we see each other tomorrow take care everyone stay healthy bye bye